10 February 2019. This is the 10 year old May Shizu. Not very light, sure. And uh, the complaint was actually the dog had been coughing. Okay, so the dog has been coughing at night for sea gang four nights and sometimes in the daytime. And uh, so they are worried. Huh? They are worried about it. So now this, this dog comes in. Now you can see it's been panting. According to the owner, the dog has been panting. Yeah. Yeah. Panting. Depending when excited. No. What what they have had had thing for the already. Can't show us. When excited and for how long? Oh. From young or from two years ago? Like ten years ago. Before that, no. Before that, before they didn't change the leash. Does he stop painting? Uh, yes. When at home. At home. Yeah. Uh, today I noticed this dog been painting for the last two hours, three hours. No. We had uh, catheterized the dog, the urinary catheterization, and the urine color is uh, very, very, very light, light yellow. Huh? And uh, let me check the urine results. The urine results will be. We uh, bring in the urine results. Huh? Yes, okay, so that is painting the whole time, the whole day. Is it? No, normal dogs don't paint like this, so when they paint, there's something wrong. Now, the urine touch shows that no, no, no uh, glucose in the urine. The SG is 1.03, that means very diluted. So there's blood in the urine. That's why the urine is smelly, right? Mm. Uh, it's blood in the urine, there's infection. Mm. Urine tract infection, right? There's some protein in the urine, and so there's two plus. And the so pH is 6.5. Now, I did check earlier on the heart again, huh? The heart sounds are normal. The harsh lung sound, lungs. Uh. Lung sounds are harsh, there's no fever. No. We don't know we're talking about this lung here. Eh? Any lungs? We don't need all of the lungs. The lungs. Uh. The lungs. Check the blood glucose is not high, 
urine growth is not high, so it's not diabetes. Now the other problem will be adrenal adrenal glands, hyperadrenal cortisol. That means the glands are produce a lot of hormones which causes the dog to be very hungry. So this one possibility. No, okay, turn to the side. Turn to the side. No, okay, no, okay, here I can. No. Uh, we are thinking of Cushing syndrome. No, 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 we no, 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 Gas in the intestine. I can hear intestinal sounds, so the intestines are okay. Yeah? The intestines, the intestines are, are normal and active. Now the only thing the owner was complaining is this swelling on the right hand side, more swollen on the right than on the left. This part is definitely swollen. So uh, the next time we had the X-ray, uh, if the coughing still continues. Uh, uh, so, not turn again? Okay. Turn up and down one more time. Okay. Turn some more. Turn some more. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, scared, no, scared. Yeah, what the owner says is correct. You, you see this part is it's very dark. Right? Yeah. It, it, it turns to, it's very bad. Dude, but the other side don't have right. Okay. Uh, both, you know? uh, this part is very black. So, it, it, to me, it seems the dog has been doing this. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. But now I can see, I can do it. And then there's another area here. You see? These are actually skin diseases. This is scratching. Not more. Scratch with you. I'm going to scratch with you. 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 The side of the wall. They are against the wall, the itch are itchy. Yeah. Yeah. These are itchy areas. But this one recently started. Hmm? Recently. Yeah. Because uh, it's very unusual to have this uh, black spot here. Unless it's a long time. Uh. It's a long time becomes black due to scratching. Uh. How's the year? Any scratching the years? No. It will come to you. How big it is? The year looks okay. Uh. And clean, uh, you can see the ears are clean, eh? not, not, not pigmented, the ears are normal. Uh. So we will say it's not the ear problem, uh. otherwise the ear will be all, all reddish. Uh. Mm -hmm. Both ears are clean, uh, you see. So that was not a problem. So the problem with this one, this, this part is a bit more swollen. Uh. More swollen. No, unless there's a... There's a tumor, you know, tumor. It's abdominal, you like in a semen gel. Like people. Like people. Oh, little bit x-ray, wait for the blood test. Yo, is that control? No, see what is it. If it's a tumor, then we know we have to x-ray. Now then you can see. This part is not swollen here. But now I'm going to This part is not so swollen. You see this part? This part is really... There's a lump coming out. There's a big lump. It can be intestine. Gas. Gas inside. But you want to say what I see. The stools are normal. Are you sure? A lot? No wet. No wet. When he... Big lump recently. When he take dry food, it's dry. When he takes those, it's a day for a drink. The stool? Okay. This morning is a drink. Yeah, no, the stool is okay. Big lumps, big teeth, right? 
normal name. Eh. His two is very very very, very it's, it's not huge one, it's small, it's good. Hmm? You used to be this uh I mean straight there or maybe hot there or is good. Okay now this is another example of why you should sterilize a dog. This is not not sterilized as you can see uh, this male dog. Normally if they are sterilized, uh, they don't get develop these tumors we call it circum inner tumor. Now one here, two here, three here. So this is normally due to the male hormones. Uh. They, they, they cause the tumors to yeah. develop. They develop and then the dog becomes uh, uh, itchy or something and they lick it. Now these are quite small, so that's why the dog doesn't bother him. Now one here, this is definitely obvious. Uh, circum inner because it's, it's around the inner. Uh. Circumference of the inner. Uh, no. This one is quite big, like this one here. So one, two, two, uh. then uh, on top one more, three. Yeah, these are the small ones, starting the small ones. They start like this, so it's really up to you. Then they will grow bigger and bigger, they become two, two big ones. This is a skin, uh, this is one is skin. You know. So next time when you have a male dog, it's best to, to neuter them uh, when they're young. So they, they don't develop this circuminal tumor. And uh, now the, the dog has three problems. Huh? One is this circuminal tumor. One is the teeth. Huh? The teeth is very bad. Very bad. You can see that. Right? Right. Or the tartar. Mm. Even one is loose already. So this one got to be done okay. as soon as possible, but not now. Huh? So two. Then the, what's the third problem? The third problem, of course, is this one. Uh, huh? this, uh, I think this might be an abdominal tumor. Some fat lump or something inside, we can't tell yet. Okay, then what's the fourth problem? The fourth problem will be the lower part. Uh, the little one. Uh, the fourth problem is this part. Uh, this part is uh, it's infected. Uh, there, there's some infection here. Okay, okay, okay. The scrotal uh, ulcers, yeah. small one, this one is not so serious. Okay, the third one is here. Um, you can see that the top really doesn't like, like to be turned over. Like this part is okay, you see this part? So then, uh, now, we come to this side instead. So this definitely there's some tumor inside. Yeah. Now, the stomach is also on this side. The stomach is here, so the spleen, maybe the spleen, but definitely you can see that, the, the, the lump is here, so definitely there's something, okay, come, okay, okay finish it, thank you.